are crazy enough. And did you know that the underlining fire in your family's bodies, right, are actually leading to more craziness in your homes? Ha <laughs> ha You probably just thought it was your mother-in-law. No, it isn't. Well, maybe to some extent, but we really need to start facing reality here, right? What is really affecting our families? So now, I have to forewarn you, please have extra adult diapers on because um, I am not responsible for any leakage because what I'm going to tell you is really scary. <laughs> because what is the problem? It could be insulin resistance or prediabetes. Now, breather. The CDC says one out of every three Americans has prediabetes and nine out of 10 of us don't even know that we have it. Isn't that crazy? Now, if I haven't completely just freaked you out, what are the symptoms? Okay, this is scary. Symptoms, fatigue, irritability, brain fog, memory issues, concentration issues, wake in around the midsection, sugar crashes in the middle of the day, carb cravings, right? Inability to lose weight. Even when somebody misses a meal, what happens is they become cranky and irritable and weak and tired. Even after the meals, somebody feels drugged and sleepy, right? You feel like you're addicted to carbohydrates. You have these hypoglycemic attacks. You have poor sex drive. You have acne. You have increased hair growth. You have acanthosis and agricans, which is actually like a skin. Your skin becomes darker and thick in the folds, like the back, the neck, the groin area, the armpits. Yep, <laughs> I didn't know it was real, an actual real condition because my brother had it growing up and my siblings had it and I had it growing up. And my mom was like, you probably haven't showered in days. And we were like, yes, mama, we did shower in days. But it's actually a symptom of prediabetes or insulin resistance. Other symptoms include infertilities, you know, cysts, difficulty losing weight. We have, if you gain weight too easily and aggressively, like really fast, or if you're just experiencing irregular periods or have history of PCOS or infertility, you could be insulin resistant. Sound familiar? Who doesn't have these problems? That's what's so scary. And now on top of that, let's add another layer. You have to be super cautious if you have family history of diabetes, hypoglycemia or alcoholism, high blood pressure, heart disease, type two diabetes, so, so scary. So if you haven't wet your pads just yet, <laughs> let me scare you a little bit more because these symptoms can be present very, very young. I have seen it constantly in all my children and the children that I see, right? And it's constantly overlooked and we're seeing more and more of it daily if we are looking actually for it. You have to specifically be looking for it. But let me scare you again a little bit more. And what can possibly make that worse is that doctors are not taught to look for it. I know, isn't that crazy? I'm as mad as you are because of the fact that I had a lot of these symptoms growing up and no one can tell me what was going on, right? But guess what? There is a happy ending. <laughs> what is that? I can't tell you everything right now. Oh, you gotta see me back next time. Woohoo! As we try to figure out what's going on with our hormones.